My name is Graham Ross and I'm the co-founder of Blocktex. Blocktex is a textile resource recovery facility. What we believe is that no textile should go to landfill. We take unwanted textiles and clothing and through a process turn them back into valuable raw materials for reuse. I grew up in a small Queensland country town where nothing was thrown away. Everything had value. As I've gone through my life, those values always stayed true to me. Unwanted textiles is one of the biggest problems facing the world today because it doesn't have a solution. There is a need for block text because globally there's an overproduction of fashion and textiles and that overproduction drives overconsumption. Frighteningly, by 2030, 140 million tonnes of unwanted clothing and textiles will end up in landfill across the globe. Blocktex is the world's first commercial scale textile resource recovery facility. We'll process 4,000 tonnes of textiles this year. We'll scale to more than 10,000 tonnes per annum. Blocktex came about because there's, there is actually a real movement, not only as consumers but also the industry, to really start to think about our overconsumption and our overproduction and to effectively close the loop on the way we manufacture clothing. Blocktex looked at several industries as we were starting to come up with the concept of a future textile resource recovery facility. And we looked in particular at the ones that could scale and the ones that were working in a very environmentally friendly way. We looked firstly at the craft brewery industry. We were really interested in how do you go from a garage to a facility, in particular the way they used vats and the ability to move liquids around their facility. Blocktex believes as long as it's not going into landfill and going back into raw materials, we've got a huge opportunity to influence many industries, not just the textile industry. From the separation of fibre technology process, we create two raw materials, RPEP pellets and cellulose powder. RPEP pellets are used in injection moulding. So from the injection moulding you can make tabletops, you can make playground equipment. Cellulose powder is used in so many industries. We've worked in the building industry where we've created mortars and paints and we're currently working with a company who uses it in hydro mulch. We're helping them regenerate land. What makes Australia a world leader in innovation is I actually think we're a nation of problem solvers. But also I think really importantly that is really uniquely Australian is that information is often shared amongst each other, it's not kind of siloed. And so if you can share the information and you combine that with a bit of natural hard work, often you can break through the barriers and break through those problems that haven't been solved before. My philosophy around competition is that I welcome it. We've got such a big problem to solve with textile waste that block text can't do it alone. I wanted to do something about climate change and I wanted to be able to sit around a table with my grandchildren in the future and say, I had a crack at that. Why we're so innovative is that we've taken something that is a complex problem and come up with a solution. But importantly, we've taken it out of the laboratory and we've got it to commercial scale. We're building a future textile industry and that's incredibly empowering. I never have any problem getting out of bed each day.